Hello everyone, this is Sabrina for GleamerCraft.blogspot.com for Scrapbook Parade and for Paper Architecture with Sabrina. I'm going to uh, show you, give you a little walkthrough from this um, file folder scrapbooking. Heidi Schwab came up with folders a while back um, and you know doing scrapbooking in folders and I thought it'd be kind of fun to see if you could just take an ordinary um, file folder and create one yourself. So I'm going to do a little walkthrough. I used two file folders in the making of this. I made it a little bit um, thicker here so uh, it has a small little spine by using the um, scored parts that were in the file. I had to make an additional one and uh, if you purchase the instructions for this from um, paper, craft, uh, paper architecture with Sabrina then um, you will have the instructions on how to go about doing that. So and then there's these um, eyelets in here with a uh, string attached because inside I have created um, some little booklets that are part of the folder. So uh, this is where I use the second uh, file folder to create these little booklets and little tags. So let me just walk through here and show you um, what I've done is I've uh, put paper on um, the outside of the file folder and then uh, I created some decorative elements and stuff and so you can do whatever you want with yours. There's um, inside, I have geared all the photos for this project to be uh, four by six with rounded corners. So uh, you can um, put them on and you'll have just the tiniest bit of a, a bitter chocolate border from these ones here. So you can see how that works there. You get a little bit of a border. And also you could put a smaller photo here and in here these are all for four by six photos like that and this fits perfectly on on these pages here I made them a little bit smaller than the rest of the booklet so you can get your four by sixes on there just perfectly and then you have another one here and on the back you could put a smaller photo here there's a, a journaling tag and this is made from the second file folder mounted onto a, a mat. And if you wanted to you could put another small picture here and a small photo there. And then here you have space for more photos. Here and again the middle page is an exact fit for your photo with rounded corners. So there's those and another one here and again I have another tag and so you could put a photo here, a smaller one, you could put a smaller photo here then you have uh, two more places to put your photos and then I also used um, part of the second file folder to make this tab for this um, for this tag that slips in behind the photo here now uh, I used washi tape in spots to decorate a little bit so I did on that tag and I've done here and there and uh, I went all the way across here and up here. So uh, that is the walkthrough of this fun little um, folder. Now I had an idea on how we could create um, a magazine box to hold them. Now this is just an Ikea one and I haven't done anything to it but it's just a thought because they fit in here perfectly so if you decorated a box and I know you can get a nice MDF one through Kaiser Craft and there are other boxes too that you could get but they fit quite nicely in there and so you can um, you can label them and um, so that when you see them all in your box you can pull out the folder that you, you want to look at. So that's my idea and this is the walkthrough for the file folder scrapbooking system. Um, I 
This is the washi tape that I use. These are both uh, from the musical notes in the Chevron. They're Christmas ones actually from Teresa Collins last year's line. And uh, I used uh, T Tim Holtz's um, um, Tattered Florals. There we go. I couldn't find the name. Tattered Florals Dye for all the, the flowers. I like using these when I do classes because I can I can die cut more pieces of paper at just uh, more than one flower at a time like you can with other dyes. So there are so many gorgeous flower and leaf dyes out there. But when I'm doing a class I prefer something that's quick like dyes like that or punches. For the leaves I just used an old heart punch and and then uh, there you have it. So I hope this has inspired you to come up with some other ideas and as I said uh, I will try and have this up on my Paper Architecture with Sabrina blog um, with the instructions and uh, a couple of video tutorials to go along with it. So thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye for now.